morning traders. Welcome to Privateer FX and the Asian preview, the North American wrap for the second trading day of the week. We do have some uh, Australian data coming up. Uh, we have Australian retail sales and then followed up with, uh, with uh, the RBA. We're not expecting much out of the RBA. So I would say, uh, you know, d d don't don't be looking for like some huge move. I, mean, I think uh, about 50 pips is priced in, 40, 50 pips is priced in for uh, for the RBA. So <clears throat> um, let's just take a look here, let's see what the, the analysts are saying as far as this goes. Yeah. I would say, f f you know, the, the retail sales is going to have to be a big mess in, in order for this thing to really move. I think, you know, traders will wait for the RBA. Um, you know, one of the things I, I think to look out for in the RBA statement would be the recent uh, underwhelming wage data. Um, there, there has been some gradual improvement, but, no, but nothing great. Um, they have been pretty upbeat on the GDP, and uh, you know, but their some of their some of their data has been has been mixed. So, um, you know, keep listening out for Governor Lowe and see what see what he has to say. Uh, as far as technicals, we've got this low from last week coming into like seventy seven thirteen. You can see how we bumped up here against the 100-day moving average of 200, just above there, 77.85 and 77.70 are the two levels. If we do get the one-two punch of a good retail sales and a upbeat, hawkish-sounding Governor Low. I would look for some stops over some of the, these moving averages and just these daily highs here. You know, looking for the first first stop really be about 78.20. Um, so that's Aussie. As far as the uh, euro goes, kind of straight up. Uh, there was that early sell-off yes uh, on the open after the Italian elections, and uh, you know we closed pretty strong right near the highs of the day, but still, you know within this range. This is our breakout point to the top side. 123.65 we'll call it on the top side. Watch that. Cable, uh, you know, closed off its highs but did have a, a run up to 138.75. There was a little mini break trade over. And there were some positive Brexit developments. Uh, May was speaking this morning and and uh, Cable caught a bid. But uh, again, nothing Nothing all at earth shattering. Uh, let's take a look at stocks. They had a powerful day. Um, we made a low down here <clears throat> around the 100 day. This is the S&P mini at 2663 was low overnight. That was after the Italian election results started pouring in and you know more Trump tweets about tar tariffs and protection protectionism. Market clearly didn't care much about that for more than a, a few hours and we shot straight up and closed uh, closed just off the highs 27 28 was a high we closed up 27 18 so pretty powerful move there uh, 10 year yields or here the 10 year bond is uh, pretty ugly daily bar not quite a reversal lower but again we highlighted this 121 32 area closed way down here Starting to question my bullish posture on on the ten years. I, I was. Uh, I think we have to wait for this area here to break, and if we get above 121.32, um, that'll that'll bring the short squeeze on. You know, I could see us retesting the size, but I think we do need some equity weakness. So, uh, just being patient with that one. Um, Let's take a look at the economic calendar for Europe tomorrow. Uh, nothing really jumping out at me. <clears throat> Looks pretty quiet. We've got Swiss CPI, doesn't matter. Uh, guilt auction out of 
the UK, shouldn't really matter. Dudley speaking on the uh, North American Open and uh, global dairy trade uh, sometime tomorrow. So nothing, uh, nothing earth shattering. We do have some Bank of England uh, speakers as well around midday in New York. So that should pretty much do it. Not not the most exciting of uh, days, but you know it's kind of a typical Monday, and the uh, market shrugged off any Italian election worries, per usual. Good luck trading, and you will hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.